There's two ways to get the Adoring fan back. I'm on stream. Hello, stream. We'll start at the beginning of the stream explaining that I'll never get the Adoring fan back. Because the only two ways possibly disables achievement. Because if you use console commands, they can disable achievements. So my two options are A Everything's five by five, Captain. Teleport me to him. Which someone did that. And apparently apparently they uh they wound up in some kind of void where there's Sorry, literally there's literally just him and the frontier somewhere in the distance. What's worse is what's worse is in their game, even though they found him, it was missing half of his dialogue. Well, I mean if you get joined by a cosmic entity and put into the void, you're gonna fucking forget things. And then there was um I forgot what I was doing last in this game. And then there was a. Uh, uh, excuse me. And then the other person did the same thing, but instead of teleporting to him, they teleported them to them. You know? I'll leave some space for this stuff. Alrighty. Man, I'm telling you. Don't mind fucking die. Use my uh, support here. 
apparent that there ain't nothing on that planet. Ah, but there's a fracking station on this one. You know what that means? A mission thing. Mission board. Which could be potentially. I just get 90 experience. Oops, someone's trying to talk to me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Over here. Uh, could I had a good feeling about you. We just need a little. Two units of ship parts will do. You're a lifesaver. Oh my god. <laughs> I forget how much of a dick you could be to people. I love how one of the answers was. <laughs> I love how it's like, you've mistaken me for somebody who cares. <laughs> it's like, damn. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> See, the thing is, if I use a console command, see, the thing is, if I use a console command just to get a Doring fan back, I'm going to use it to give me some skills. That's why. It's not going to happen. I'm just... Say how on a grand quest. There's no life on this planet. Know if you have any questions, I couldn't tell, but is, was their helmet broken? Exactly the exact amount 
Okay. Have a good one. Hey, stranger. Got some work for you, if you're interested. Scanners picked up some mineral deposits in a cave nearby. We need some boots on the ground to verify the scan. Then, get a taste of the minerals. Make sure it's worth sending a work crew. Whatever you can carry out is all yours. We just need to scan anything you find. Or sent me something about the beta. I see. Well, Forrest found a uh, somebody built. Uh, oh God! Somebody built a waffle house in Starfield. I'd clear out of here if I were you. That's exactly what I was looking for. Yeah.
Wow. Let's crash into that derelict ship. Good night. This area without your spacesuit would inevitably result in death. Trying to find a spot that's got iron in the corner.
might have to choose a different way at this spot. Here, as well as some extractors. But they're not powered because
to death. This got some injection happening here at least.
funny if I can put them on top of this. <laughs> on top of this. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty interesting. Oh, can't build any more of these because they need tungsten. Oh, I got tungsten. Ten per minute now. That's the production rate of this facility.
No, I don't want to build that here. At least I have some... Do I have them on the ship?
that forward on it? Hostiles in the system. <laughs> Have my attention. It's our company's policy. Us friendlies have got to watch each other's backs out here. Safe travels, stranger.
hostiles in the system. I can see it. Though, so it'll be a little difficult. Let's just go check that place out. I'm trying to find ships to destroy so I can get the pilot license on that. I'm trying to do it so I can have a better ship. So I went. Fire everything! Oh! Nice. That's a good sign.
Chloride. Safe house gamma. What the hell is a safe house gamma? have a mission for Find that mission board. If it's all the same to you, I need my space. Life 
move slow in our little outpost. I'm proud of what we built here. Everyone wants to live in a flashy city. would never come. But here you are. We were performing some routine scans when a pack of the native wildlife decided that would make for a nice meal. It wasn't until we made it back that we realized that one of our crew was still out there. She must have gotten hurt in all of the chaos. We need you to bring her back. Can you do this for us? I... Sorry. Any junk weighing you down? I buy just about it. It's important to stay armed out here. I have ammo and weapons if you need them. This is what I have. I have less. Stay safe out there. One more. Oh, I walked right by them. to be part of the team.
10 left. Nice. <clears throat> so, this is another city that I'll have access to that I can sell stuff to. procedure after our visit to Aquila City. Order of Marshal Daniel Blake, I need to inform you we've got some trouble at Gal Bank. Folks might be in danger, so you may want to steer clear. I guess that'd be the Marshal's call. Frankly, it ain't going well. Looks to be a stalemate. Maybe a little outside help would do some good. I don't know you. Now please, stand back. Mm. I wish I could say you were wrong, but I'm backed into a corner here. Some folks from the Shaw Gang tried to rob the place, but they got spotted by a guard. They took everyone inside hostage, and now they're keeping a watch so we can't move against them. They're using the intercom to communicate. They won't talk to me. Say they don't trust the badge. <laughs> they want a neutral negotiator. In other words, they didn't have a plan for this, so they're stalling while they come up with one. Hmm. All right, I'm willing to allow that. But a few things first. Say what you have to, but whatever they ask for, there's no way in hell I'm giving it to them. Also, there are lives at stake. So don't get cavalier. Find out what they want, and then report back to me. Hey, you in the bag. Shock game. I'm sending in a negotiator, so don't shoot. Hands where I can see them, and don't try nothing. You're the negotiator, huh? If you think you're just gonna walk up here and get us to surrender, Dead wrong. Uh, it's Jed. Jed Bullet. Well, ain't you polite? So tell me, stranger, how do I know you're gonna deal straight with us? <laughs> I don't know you. 
So why should your word mean anything to me? I'm so ready to get out of here. Okay. I can see you're not just the Marshal's tool. You want what we want. A nice, happy ending where nobody gets hurt. So let's talk. They talk too damn much. Complain about everything. <laughs> as much as we'd like to, none of us has shot one yet. We want to guarantee a safe passage to the spaceport and a ship. We'll drop the hostages off somewhere safe in the system. After that, we'll radio back where they are, and the Marshal and his crew can come and get them. But if anybody follows us when we break orbit, we start shooting people. Got it? Then persuade the Marshal... <sighs> this whole damn job's gone wrong. It was supposed to be just a quick hit. Clean and simple, you know? So let's just... Let's all try to keep our heads, yeah? My guys, they're going crazy in here. I don't know how much longer we can last. What do you mean? Sometimes bad things happen. Part of me just wants to be rid of Nah, it's too late to back out now. We're seeing this through. You go... They've got my girlfriend in there. If she gets hurt... I heard every word. He's talking too loud. Sign of fatigue. All that fear and exhaustion are taking a toll. They're not thinking straight. That puts us in a very precarious position. I appreciate your idealism, but there were only ever two ways this could end. You've already ruled out one of them, so that leaves us with only one option. Problem is, they're keeping me and the guards in sight at all times. If we try to move against them, they'll see us coming. You'd be willing to do that? You've got guts, that's for damn sure. I can't deny that you're right, though. They might not see that coming. Now, I see two ways we can play this. <coughs> you could ask to see the hostages. Once you're inside, you can make your move. If you're quick, I think you can take them out before they have a chance to respond. But you'll have to shoot to kill. There's also a back door. Most of their attention's focused out front here, so they may not be watching it as closely. This key should unlock it. What'd the Marshal say? We have a deal? I guess that'd be all right. Gonna need to ditch that weapon first. Ain't no way I'm letting you in here armed. Fine, but make it quick. That's true. If you tried something, we'd take you out real quick. Well, my word's gonna hang. Make a fair point. All right? Fine. But if you so much as look at me funny, I'm sending you straight to the morgue. There. The door's unlocked. It's time to bring out the big gun.
They're in the vault, down there. Hey! The negotiator's coming down to check the hostages. I know you got something valuable stashed away in here. Don't you lie to me now. You don't understand. The vault is for storing priceless heirlooms and relics from Aquila City's proud history. Shut up! You're wasting my time and I'm sick of it! I'm gonna count to five. If you ain't told me what I want to know, I'm gonna blow your head off. Yes? I'm telling you the truth. Please. I have a wife. Confiscating those their weapons as my compensation. Well, part of my confiscate my compensation anyway. I heard the fight. The hostages, are they safe? Is that so? Shame it had to come to that. But you got the job done and saved lives. Here, you've more than earned this. You got us out of a tough spot and you did it with courage that's not common. As a matter of fact, you might just be Freestar Ranger material. If you're interested, head on over to The Rock and ask for Emma Wilcox. She handles the new recruits. Well done. Well done indeed. Shimon. Baby. Tanzer. Margo! Are you alright? Sometimes I... They didn't hurt you, did they? It's okay. <laughs> I'm okay. I, I just need a minute. Left Sidonia looking for a better life. Only to Take it from here. the tube out. But it's nothing that would keep me from getting back out there. You need to give it more time. Guess that means you won't be telling the Marshal that I'm approved for field duty. Not yet. There could still be a setback, and I'd need to be close at hand if that happens. Fine, fine. But you should know that I'm crawling the walls in here. They just take it easy. Shouldn't be long now. Well, I can hey catch you up. Or if you need supplies, I've got those as well. No, I was just eavesdropping. Work hard, play hard. That should be the free Seems that way. 
You got some business with me? Oh. Well, if the marshal sent you to me, that means he's looking to recruit you. Just so you know what you're getting into, I'll explain who we are and what we do. Well, the Freestar Rangers ensure the safety and security of the Freestar Collective and its people. We might hunt down a fugitive, break up a smuggling operation, investigate a starship theft, or put some would-be bank robbers behind bars. Whatever needs doing to keep the people safe, we do. The guy who's been dead for more than a hundred years. Oh, come on, Alex. That's just like most things that are worth doing. It ain't always easy. But do I think we make the Free Star Collective a little safer for everyone? Yeah, I do. I imagine you've got some questions. I'll answer anything I can. Yes, I've got some homework to do if there's going to be a second date. That's the spirit. Okay, then. A word about myself. I'm in charge of making sure anyone that wants to be a Free Star Ranger is up to the task. That being said, the Marshal wouldn't send you here if he didn't think you had potential. So, what's it gonna be? Oh God. <laughs> do I wanna be with the UC or do I wanna be with Freestar Collective? I have a feeling that this is going to be a decision that has huge ramifications in the near future. You seem distracted. Look, you have to be completely sure about this, so take whatever time you need. Just come and find me if you decide you want to join. So if I join one, I don't think I'm going to be able to join the other. It's very simple. You're probably looking for Mary. Hiya. Don't be causing trouble now. What can I get you, Emma? Oh, no. Not everyone gets to say they work at The Rock. A lot of famous people visit a kill for. Popping back a beer, you oh, never I know. know. Andy's been trying to rope you into her spy scheme. A year or two back, I, I shared a drink with Rob Hope. That man. Get it? She's an angel. Good to see you. up to you and the marshal. Well, hey there. Trying to keep track of the bad guy. Right now, not much of anything. Meanwhile, I've been trying to make myself useful, reading dispatches and reports and such. That way, when I'm cleared for field duty, I'll know the lay of the land. here for a different mission. with Miss Kassler and she'll give a full guided tour. I mean no offense, but isn't it a bit small? And there's not as many attractions as I'd like. Miss Kassler built this whole thing off donations and what she could throw together. It's not like a... Uh, it's not sounding good to be able to take Everything uh... you see here is a piece of Aquila City's history. Welcome to the Co Heritage Museum. That is not something I expected to hear today. I assume you're somehow associated with the United Colonies? 
I've received some odd messages of late. A tree is upset? Few scientists are something else. Regardless, I can't just hand over museum property, and I must admit I'm not especially inclined to help the UC, or New Atlantis for that matter. Well, I'm afraid you've wasted your time because I'm not authorized, nor particularly inclined, to release any of our pieces. That includes hundred-year-old tree branches. Sorry, but it's staying in storage. Hi! Please, I hear what you're saying, but I'm a... I guess I don't want to impede anything important. Handing over that branch is starting to look pretty good. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this. Please return it in one piece. Don't look at me like that, Vasco. Judge me. Huh? Oh, I, I told Vasco, I was like, don't look at me like that, Vasco. Judge. No, I just convinced the lady to give me the tree branch. No, one. no we know what we're doing with the tree branch. It's for research purposes. It's to save the trees on New Atlantis. The Freestyle Collective is where I had to get it from. The Freestyle Collective don't care about the UC. And Colin. You know, there's bad blood between them. They had this giant war back in the day. Um, yeah, there's an unsteady peace going on. But they're not cooperating with each other. That was some stuff. Like, I give a shit. I don't care what they think. I need this branch to complete a quest. It's looking like good EXP. Now I can fast travel here, which is good. I killed a bunch of people that were robbing a bank. Saved some hostages. <laughs> to the beach. Hand me uh, water. Get a second. After being viciously assaulted over there. <laughs> Where are you going with that suitcase? Why are you just staring at me like that? What the hell? Three sixty. Uh, I hope Aquila City has what we need. Have you paid a visit to Miss Castler in Aquila City? Yes, yes, of course. I'll see that it is returned to her in one piece. Well, perhaps minus a few shavings. Now, I just need a moment to analyze this and synthesize an audio response to our friend here. Ow. Right, so we'll feed in a sample. Now the program will incorporate the genetic and chemical makeup of the sample, extrapolating the size and structure of the original tree. This was put together rather hastily, so complete accuracy is impossible. I'm hoping it's enough. And there it is. Our best hope for a positive solution to this mess. So, we now have a simulated response to our tree. All that's left is to play it. An excellent question. I have been wondering myself. I've been forced to listen to this SSNN kiosk chatter incessantly this entire time. I think it could be put to better use. We don't have time to go through the proper channels, but... If you can find a terminal and get this uploaded into their system, it might do the trick.
I have no doubt that you will. Time for more questionably not wholly legal activities. Fair. I was really considering things until that and threatening to blow out that one guy's head. <laughs> yeah, that yeah, bad. What the hell? You can't go in. You just can't. But David's my friend. He writes. way. They'll have our table ready soon. Did we have to come early? You know they'll be late. It's a matter of courtesy. Some money. The hell? reductions in the strength of the vibrations. The tree is calming down. I can hardly believe that word. I don't know. We've been in uncharted territory this whole time. That doesn't stop now. With the immediate crisis hopefully over, I can slow down and review everything we've learned. And certainly I'll be keeping a much closer eye on our friend going forward. And you, you have saved this tree and advanced our scientific knowledge of our environment. Noble work across the board. You have my gratitude and that of every citizen in New Atlantis, though they don't know it. Uh, 
I have enough to just pay off my mortgage. Together we can really make... Certainly. So there are two ways to take care. One's easy, just the other option, less ideal. Everything is in order, excellent. Let me be the first to congratulate you on owning your house fully. No more mortgage payments for you. I have to finalize the paperwork, but I wish you all the best. Due to recent legislative action, I'm no longer able to allocate ships. I can, however, deal in general goods. Welcome to UC Distribution. Something I can do for you? Oh, well, certainly. She always say that. Back to it then.
let's go. Well, you're back. Oh no, don't start. I've had enough Barrett for one lifetime. I don't need the sequel showing up on my doorstep. More pirates showed up when you were gone. We weren't as lucky this time. Calvert, Troy, some of the new Dusties, they didn't make it. Well, how could you have? You weren't here. Anyway, I was pinned down behind some crates with Barrett. Bullets and laser fire everywhere. No smile on that damn carefree face of his. Like he knew this was it. I started stealing myself to go out fighting. Then that idiot puts his hand on my shoulder and says, Stay here, Lin. I got you. Next thing I know, two of the pirates are dead, and he's got the third one in a headlock. Drags him out into the open at gunpoint and demands to talk, or else I'm going to demonstrate Newton's third law on this guy's temporal lobe. And that's when they brought out Hella. <sighs> I didn't overhear everything, but after the ten longest seconds of my life, Barrett put his hands up, and both of them ended up getting taken aboard the pirate ship. And that's the last I saw of either of them. They could have grab-jumped anywhere. I tried pinging a transmission to the ship in the comms building before they left, but the pirates must have fried it. You want to try it? Go ahead. But the odds of them being alive, even if you could find them... <sighs> I've lost a lot of people on this run, Dusty. I just want to pack up.
Oh god. Oh god. before we're out of range. Out of range of what? Out of range of the sensor array on Vectera. Would you keep up? Once we're outside the star system, the bandwidth goes from instant speed to effectively never. What good is sending a transmission down there? You gotta tell Lynn how royally screwed we both are? She doesn't even have a ship. You underestimate how many of my admirers there are in the galaxy, Heller. One of them is bound to show up, looking to reunite with this handsome face. We're doomed. Capital D, doomed. Got it, okay. Whoever finds this, I'm attaching the interstellar coordinates to the metadata on the transmission. Rescue us. Repeat. Rescue us. actually get that computer working again? What? Let me see that. <laughs> Funny. Even knowing he's alive, I still never want to see him again. Hella, on the other hand. Okay. Let me send you the location data embedded in the transmission. Find them, okay? Be a while before Argos comes to pick me up. I'll be here if you need me. And hey, if you ever need a little extra help, 
I've been thinking about a career change lately. Maybe it's time to put Argos behind me. Idea to keep it full full. Uh, let me take like 10 weight off. 10 or 20 weight. I thought she said when when she, when I come back. I thought she said when I come back. Not right now. God. What's your skills be like. Good luck finding Barrett. Keep an eye out for Hello while you're at it. Seems like you've been keeping busy, Dusty. Outpost management three. If a uh, Hell you find yeah. yourself in need of a capable traveling companion, we should talk. My contract's up with Argos, and I could use a change of scenery. Works for me. I'm not fussy about assignments. I'll go where I need it.
Right. I'll get to work. Let's catch up later. Yeah, I'll be here for a minute because eventually I'm gonna have a whole call with them. Now, set up this. Let's go. Just, you know, 
wasn't trying to move around too much with all the painkillers and nausea meds running through me. Man, I was so terrified when I got pulled on board that pirate ship. There it was all. Sorry, brother. I'll get us out of this. Trust me. Mm, not <laughs> what you and I would call a plan, necessarily. Oh, I'm getting to that. <laughs> he tells me we need to start pretending to fight each other. <laughs> Trick the pirates into thinking they need to come in before one of us gets killed. I just remember him shouting, This kid is a killer. How am I supposed to defend myself against these hurly whites? He's gonna bite my face off. I mean, I didn't think it would work, but they came in. All of a sudden, we were wrestling with two of them. Barrett reached for one of their guns. Bingo. Blasted the pilot right in the back. <laughs> Through to the flight console. And dropped orbit like a rock off a high rise. <sighs> I blacked out. And when I came to, there he was. Smiling like it was just another day on the job. You miss the fun part, Heller. <laughs> I mean... I go through all the trouble of saving your butt, and you weren't even awake to notice. Then, he did the little finger gun thing. Oh yeah, probably should have talked about that first. <laughs> did I mention I'm on a lot of painkillers? So, I was real excited when a ship showed up. <laughs> then, less excited when I realized it was a Crimson Fleet ship. And then, really, really less excited when Barrett said, it's okay, I got this. He mumbled something to him, and then they were all gone. I was drifting in and out, but yeah, I think so. Got a signal from the ship before they grab jumped. Guessing it was Barrett. <laughs> Haven't really been in a good <clears throat> space to have a listen. <laughs> Here you go. Hey, uh, uh, I should come with you, right? I don't think anyone else <laughs> is coming. Yeah, just, uh... Don't ask me to operate any heavy machinery for a while. Ugh, give me a minute. I think the worst of it is... Yeah, I'll be all right. I'll be all right. Ready to wisecrack with the best of them. Let me know when you want to head out. Still think there might be a spot for me on your ship? I gotta get off this rock. Phew, oh, I'm glad to hear you say... You got it. Catch you on the flip side, boss. Thanks for letting me tag along. Can just leave me on the planet. You've given the fleet a lot of trouble, Barrett. 
Hey, since when is surviving being attacked causing trouble? Isn't that just fighting back? Hey, pilot, could you move your arm a little bit to the left? I can't make out the console. Don't move. He's trying to figure out our destination. Probably transmitting this conversation right now while we're still in orbit. Well, yeah. Thought I was making that pretty obvious. Okay, okay, put the gun down. I'm done. See? My retinas are pointing away from the console and towards this lovely view of space we have out the window. Time up. Once we get back to the base, the fun starts. How do I increase my flight command? <clears throat> Is there a skill I can do? Flight command, flight command. Systems. Nine. Let's talk about destroying the amount of ships <laughs> that the pilot one wants. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna gain more levels, so I'm not too worried about that. <laughs> Alright, let's go. <clears throat> other things over towards at least. I'm pretty sure if I stop focusing on trying to just do the pilot stuff, I'll be able to get more ship back. That's unfortunate, but it's true. Usual how it works with me in games.
Ironic, I expected ship battles, I got no ship battles. How are you, Dusty? Nice yeah. to see you. Don't do anything stupid out there. I've got to be honest with you. I hate sitting this one out, Chief. Yeah, what's up? Just here for a chat? Ah, parting is such sweet sorrow. <laughs> Hello. Listen, it's only until I can get an outpost where... That's cool. Oh, that's cool. I have detected hostile life nearby.
This encounter will likely end in your death. No, my Get you.
Oh, there's a whole more section to this thing. <coughs> oh, damn. I killed everybody outside. Oh, yeah. There's no certainty to the universe at all. Once you really start getting out there, the laws of physics kind of turn into suggestions. You're pulling my leg again, right? That's the latest thing you see. No exaggerations this time. Holy shit. You actually found me. Barrett is unharmed. The statistical probability of this scenario has once again defied all known mathematical models. Well, this is turning into a regular constellation party, isn't it? I should have brought drinks. Well, you didn't need to worry too much. Matsuo the Grim here is actually a wonderful host. No reason captivity should be unpleasant. See, that's what I mean, Matsuo. Real considerate. I have enjoyed our time together, Barrett. But I can't just let you go with nothing to show for it. Is Constellation willing to pay ransom in exchange for this man's freedom? You want me to end all this with nothing to show for it? He has been more entertaining than most hostages. He does seem to be unusually skilled in that area. Barrett has some good friends, it seems. Very well. You're all free to go. It's been a real pleasure, Matsura. Really? And good luck out there with all the, you know, hurting people and taking their money. So, back to the lodge? Honestly, I was kind of rolling the dice with you. But hey, sometimes a bet pays off. Right. No worries. He's free to go. I do not encourage you to return. <coughs> <coughs> It's up here. Ah, oh, fuck. 
they disappear. That was hit me, bro. Bodies are gone, aren't they? Damn. Sorry for the wait, everyone. Got a little held up on Vectera. Barrett, we were worried sick. Well, some of us were. I see what you did there, Walter. And I know you've been secretly crying into your piles of money just waiting for my return. Actually, Walter has been complaining about you more than usual, which is always a sign when he's worried. Don't start, country. Wait, is that? <laughs> and to think the first artifact was taking up dust on the library show. Now look at them all. You feel it a bit, can't you? Ever since I found the second one, I had the visions. Being around them is just comforting. Oh. So hey, I I'm still not a hundred percent, plus I feel guilty dragging you into all of this. Why don't I stick around? help you get adjusted to the weird corners of the universe. It doesn't really matter to me. We never get too attached to ships. After the fifth or sixth time one blows up and you get marooned. The romance fades. Plus the frontier is a constellation ship. And you're one of us now. So it's just as much yours as mine at this point. Marvelous. I've occasionally had my doubts about Constellation as an investment. But now, well, it's clearly money well spent. It's been quieter around here ever since Vladimir went to live on the eye full time. Hey. Yes?
Bye for now. You good to go yet? Okay. We'll meet you on board your ship. Talk more when we get there. Once we land on Aquila, it's gonna be you and me. So if you want to do any freewheeling before then, Cora and I will just be riding passenger. I always forget where the lodge is at. Pilot says you're a homestead. Set down, grab the highest caliber weapon I've got, and start walking. Boom! If that had actually happened, you wouldn't be standing here. No lie. That is convenient, but riding right after eating can give you stomach aches. Every time I see that statue, I can't really explain why, but I do. Good to be home, right? Okay, scan me. Walking by it, and I thought, hey, what the heck? Why not? Anyway, I figured you might have a use for it. Don't worry about it. If I see anything on our next expedition to a planet, then I'll hang on to it for you. Nice. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Good to see you. Adventures in Starfield. Unfortunately, I can't get him back. 
<clears throat> but <clears throat> lots of exciting stuff happening. I'm going to take a break for a little bit, get something to eat, and then I'll play some more later. Bye-bye, stream. Bye, stream.